If you want to improve your photos, the Gcam can help you with that. Here's a photo of the Nothing Phone and on the right, another one taken with the Gcam. And I think the difference is noticeable. With the Gcam you will capture better details and shadows and in this one you can see how it also controls the exposure a little bit better. Something that in some cases also improves the definition and detail, not to mention the colors that are more realistic and perhaps not as saturated as usual. If you like this style of photography and you want to improve your phone's camera, well, you need the Gcam. For those that don't know, the Gcam, it's basically the camera app that we see on Google Pixel phones. Its camera is so good that it rivals that of the iPhone or even the S23 Ultra, despite costing practically half as much. The good news is that it's possible to install this app on other phones, and that's what we call the Gcam or Google Camera. It has become very popular, especially on mid-range phones where optimization is not always the best. And to find out if your device is compatible with it, well, it's quite easy. Simply search and install this app, and once inside, confirm the hardware support. If it's full or level 3, you won't have any problems. Another way to deduce if it will work, it depends on your phone chip. If it's a Qualcomm, well, it will work. But if you have a MediaTek or Exynos, it may work, but you will have some limitations. Whatever the processor is, the best thing you can do is try different versions and also research on forums related to your phone. And that's because the Gcam is not on the Play Store and I do not recommend using the Gcamator. Which as you can see, it tells me that there is no Gcam for my phone but here I have it, install. The best way to install a Gcam is manually and the best website to find one is Salesforce. Once inside you can click on stable versions and choose some of these for example. After downloading it, always analyze it through an antivirus. Then you upload it to your device and install it directly. In this case, with the Nothing Phone, it worked on the first try without any issues. But what to do if it doesn't work? Here you have two options. The first one is to download other Gcams and try until you find one that is stable. And the second option is to find some specific configuration for your device. I know this may sound a little bit complex, but believe me, it's not. And to show you that, I will give you the perfect example with the S23 Ultra, which according to the Camera 2 app, you can see is compatible. But when I try any Gcam, it closes instantly. When I quickly search on Google, I found a possible solution with this specific version, as well as a complete configuration that I had to upload to the phone storage. Then, I installed the Gcam, but when I opened, it closed. So, to prevent this, I had to start a video, touch right here, and import the configuration. And now, you can see how it works without any problems. And when comparing it to the Gcam of the Nothing Phone, you can see how we have many more unique settings that fully utilize the cameras of the S23 Ultra. But remember, this is a very special case, and in 90% of the phones, you won't have to do this. And the good thing about the Gcam is that you can import some configurations from other users or developers that have the same phone, and in some cases, can even help you solve some issues like the one I had. But even knowing all this, I would say that not always you will need the Gcam. With the S23 Ultra, for example, we get better selfies against the light and we also see better exposure control. But in most scenarios, the difference is minimal and I even prefer the ones from the stock camera. In my experience, the Gcam is great for low-end or even mid-range devices, but for the top of the line, only in certain situations. In addition to that, it's usually well optimized for photography, but not videos. So you will always need to use the stock camera for those. But anyway, I hope this video helped you understand a little bit better what is the Gcam and how you can install it. But if you have any questions, you can leave it down there in the comments. And I see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.